So welcome again to our podcast uh, in bringing up boys. Um, we're talking about uh, how you raise boys, particularly in the light of uh, all the stuff that's been going on. People are asking this question about raising boys in the light of how girls are being treated, uh, really, and particularly how they've been treated sexually as sort of sexual objects by boys in schools and so forth. Um, uh a really, really uh, good uh, article in in the Times back in March 2021 uh, called uh, "Toxic Boys: uh, What Parents Need to Know About Bringing Up Boys." And there's some there's some really good thoughts here, mm. which are largely uh, based on cr- Christian traditions, but have sort of removed God, haven't yeah, they, yeah, and removed yeah, yeah. the Christian things. I'm uh, Pete Woodcock. I'm the pastor of Cornerstone Church. I'm joined again uh, by uh, Dean and uh, Chris Dryden. Um, because uh, they wouldn't call themselves experts no at way. bringing up children, but they have brought up five children, and so in many ways... Experts at making them, maybe. Yeah, oh my uh, at, at um, <laughs> learning lessons uh, from... Definitely from, learning lessons. Yeah, and, and, <laughs> Sorry. and that's all we're saying here. We're not, we're not uh, suggesting that we're uh, experts, but we are saying that here's some stuff that uh, we've noticed and we're trying to bring boys up. Uh, Today, we're dealing with um, pornography. And so in this article, um, he has this uh, little section that says, uh, by the age of 11, uh, you should have had a conversation about online pornography. Is that right, Dean? I think so. Uh, I think uh, definitely, like, uh, it's, so, it's so hard. It's a yes and a no, right? So you ha- I think the point is you have to know your kid. Some would say this is way too late. Um, you know, some would say this is way too early, <laughs> you know, so it's, it really is, it really is tricky. If you if your kid has a phone, um, with the internet, with internet access, you have to, you, you have to have some kind of conversation about, you know, what they watch and, you know, what they might see. But, um, if they're in a, if they're in a group of friends, if they're, if they're at a school or at a park with a mate who's got a, a mobile phone, they could see it you know they could they could see it through that way um so it, you know it's so difficult it, you, so you can't even say if your kid you know if your kid hasn't got a phone you can you can wait you know you it's it's it doesn't work like that um so i think you you really have to know your your child um you again and and going back to the last section that we were talking about talk to your kids talk to your boys you know if you know what's going on in their lives then hopefully you'll get um signals and and signs and you'll know when when it when's the right time i think i think you're right i think that's the thing is it's an ongoing conversation that develops over time and it is about uh talking about bodies and what is right and wrong what modesty is how to treat one another it's again going back to how do we treat each other as human beings how do i do i treat girls differently and it's this constant conversation that that evolves and it grows into more and more. So you might not have had a specific conversation about online pornography, but you would have had a conversation about love, about marriage, maybe um, about even about kissing, you know, just the start of those little things that then leads to a specific conversation about online pornography. And I think definitely 11 years old, most of the kids in the class will have a phone. Your child will most likely have a phone. You know, you need to know what's going on. And, and again, as a parent, you want to be the one who is control, not, not controlling as in a, you know, I can't let my child do anything without me knowing, but you want to be the one introducing these things to your child if you can. So you you not, want to be the teacher. Not, you want to yeah. be the teacher, not yeah. someone else teaching your child and mm. them coming to you saying, what the heck is this about? Yeah. You know, be on your guard yeah. as I, a parent. I think, um, yeah, I, I, I totally agree with that. And But I think there's, there's, there's an idealistic thing going on there as well. Like in an ideal world, that yeah. would be the best thing. I think nine, you know, I, th- I think a lot of us as parents, um, I, I, I think there is something about reacting to something. Um, I think there's something. Um, uh, so, so sometimes stuff happens, and it's a, it's a, it's kind of a blessing that 
that it yeah, does it and then you can you react. With it. Yeah. It's, it, I think the danger is if you have a child who has been exposed to pornography for a, a, a length of time, for a number of months or years, and you've never spoken to them about it, I think that is, that is, yeah. that is damaging. But if you, know, if you have a child who stumbled across it uh, and it's his first time and you are able to speak into that, it, it, it is, I think that can, it's not the end of the world. You know, I think yeah. um, sometimes that's, uh, that's a gift in a, in a, in a weird way yeah. uh, because it gives you a context to speak. Yeah, into. but it leads off of having conversations with your child yeah. and then they know they can come to you and talk to you about yeah. this, yeah. not just, oh no, I better hide this. Yeah. I don't think my no. parents will. I don't think it's the like way to it. go. I don't think it's the way to sort of yeah. do parenting, but I think some, you know, unfortunately a lot of the times it, it is what happens and, what and they find out. Yeah, they find yeah. out and you react. But and, you're saying, Chris, um, that if we're um, not just waiting for the chat. Yeah. There might be a time when there's a big yeah. the chat, but you're saying in the context again, of like we were saying uh, last time in conversation about all kinds of things, marriage, making love, uh, you know, you might be talking about... Um, uh, even the intimacy uh, of saying you don't crash in on mummy and daddy, yeah. um, uh, even though they might say, Ugh, exactly, uh, is that the sort of thing mummy and daddy do? That then, but but there's no, there's intimacy, there's a closed door there, there's there's something beautiful about this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's it's the modern day, uh, you know, Deuteronomy six. As you go along the road, you talk about these things. As it's the just conversations that come up as yeah. you see things that, you know, your kids are going to see things. Yeah. Advertisements are so close to yeah. pornography <clears throat> quite often that and you pop music. And most, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Most, most films these days will have a, lo a love scene or some kind of, you know, love story. And, and, you know, I think that's where you have the opportunity to talk to them. Um, but I think positive experiences is yes. the best, your family culture, you know, even, it, even just mum and dad in the kitchen, um, you know, and there's a there's a flirt, there's a there's a bit of fun happening. You know, there's a, a kissing you know, between mum yeah, and dad. That's right. Sort of and, thing, and, yeah, that's right. And and your kid will react. You, you know, yeah. like the boy will go, Ugh! and yeah. and you can play that up and yeah. say, look, this is this, but this is beautiful. This is like yeah. in all seriousness, this is this is how it's supposed to be. Okay, you know? pornography though, however, is yeah. not beautiful. No, no. And uh, uh, it seems that <clears throat> it it's largely uh, violent. Uh, it seems, and we've, and and, t and he says in this little article, which mm. I think is absolutely right, that these these are actors, mm. yeah, and the women are acting, um, yeah. and so uh, they're not enjoying this. It's it's uh, often slave women that have to be doing this, you know, for hours upon hours, one scene after the other scene, um, being mishandled by men and they're pretending to love it. So it's a good idea to really show this is a horrible horror film. Yeah. Uh, women, uh, women acting as if they're enjoying it. Yeah. yeah. And I think, you know, he, he talks about um, the boys that he's, that he's worked with. Uh, it becomes a, something they expect yeah. they, if they see this, this is how sex works on this film or whatever. This is, this is what they come to expect yep. in their relationships. And it's to it totally wrecks um, relationships because that's not how things work. You know, yeah. It's not how things are supposed to work. You will never have a healthy relationship if you go in to it expecting a woman to do stuff that you see in a, in a, a, th in a fictional yeah. made-up world, you yeah. know, um, which is actually not just a fictional made-up world. It's a fictional made-up um, horror show really you yeah. know because like you say it's 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 all it's misogynistic it's it's the, it's only pleasing the man um it's all about you know what the man's gratification mm. um and and it's just it's just not it's just not it's not love well it's it? not making love no. is it and, no. and 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 i don't think pornography uses that term no. uh it's not a man and a woman in love making love and becoming sort of united in caring and giving to each other yeah. it's wham bam thank you ma'am yeah. stuff isn't it it's yeah. come here i'll do this uh and yeah. and uh, you know even those terms i mean i won't use the words but if you think about the terms that are used that replace making love. Yeah, yeah. It just shows you, in one sense, that is not sex. It's yeah. more like rape. Yeah, yeah. And uh, ra the, rape isn't an aggressiveness sex. about it, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And uh, it, it's an awful thing yeah. if we're teaching our young men that sex is is basically like, like rape. Yeah. And um, we mustn't do that. So yeah. it, we have to speak about this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is an ugly, um, uh, s- it's really satanic version of, yeah. of sex, yeah. isn't yeah. it? Yes, yeah. t- yeah. totally distorted and selfish. Not gentle, yeah. not kind, not giving. No. Yeah, no. yeah. Now, I think, I, I mean, one of the things I love about this um, this sort of section is that he, he says that, that you'll need to have multiple conversations over many years about this yeah. and the penny will drop in the end, you know. Yeah. Um, and that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a brilliant way of putting it. You know, I think that is something that, um, that you're going to, again, and, and you can do this as you go along the road. So, so again, every film or every, you know, not every film, it's, it's, it's one of those things, do I have to speak every single time, you know? Mm. No, probably not. It's going back to the saying "stop it" and 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 actually naming emotions. You know, I, I, well, I don't sometimes think it's... we need to stand up and turn a film off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, and sometimes we need to, if we've paid to go to see a film, you know, we need to say, okay, yeah, I'm I'm, go, I'm walking out. Yeah. Yeah. Which is hard for some of us because yeah, I've right. paid 10 quid to go <laughs> yeah, see yeah, this yeah. thing. Do your um, homework. <laughs> no, yeah. but sometimes, yeah. you, uh, you know, you can spin things on yeah. um, because the sex scene never really adds to the film. No. It's Very just, rare. it's like, it's like, it's, it, this is why I. And don't, again, I, it's unreal. It's, you know, most, most sex scenes. Even the nice totally, ones are yeah, unreal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 You know, they, they finish, get up, put their clothes on, <laughs> yeah. and go. And you it's think, like, don't you have new. a shower? Yeah. Uh, you know, so it's it's nonsense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But Sorry, you know, uh, Chris, you were... no, and I think you know, definitely as your your kids are older and you're watching films with them, it is it again, it's modeling that behavior of most of the time those scenes are, and and it's not necessarily classed as pornography. Those scenes, mm-hmm. so pornography is much much worse than that. Yeah. But if we as adults can't really even stomach those those scenes that are seen as regular, mm. you know, or normal. Mm. Um, how much worse would pornography be to mm. actually sit there and watch one? But I think what get back to the point of as you're watching these shows with older teenagers, you know, that have sex scenes in them, it is showing them actually it is okay to just whiz on through and be like, oh yeah, blah blah blah, you know, and and sort of talk to the film that way and help them yes you know have the courage to do that maybe when they're with friends and these but again that's not even pornography yeah, yeah. that's no, just no. what the yes. world deems as normal yes yeah. yeah but yeah absolutely and 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 sometimes you know in a film the what what we would call normal uh, sex is that they're suddenly so taken up, aren't they? Yeah. It's like, whoa, and all the clothes are being ripped off. And you think, it doesn't, you know, one, I think if I ripped my wife's clothes, she'd be so angry. Um, uh, I was going to say, I gotta go and buy happen? some more clothes. Doesn't this happen <laughs> normally for you? No. Um, <laughs> that, that nothing would happen sexually. She'd be so annoyed that the button's ripped off and she has to sew it back on. But uh, it's, it, it, what that does is that, it, 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 is that, we're so taken up with this force of sex yeah. that there again, there's no real kindness in it. It's just two people, you know, exploding with this force that they can't help themselves, and that's just wrong. And that that goes back to actually, and with pornography, it goes back to that. I've got this urge. I've got this feeling. Yeah. I need to do something with it, right? Mm. And again, that's where that's where all of these conversations that we have with our mm. with our boys, especially growing up, is yes, you do have yes. emotions, you have urges. Yep. You are responsible for the way that you respond to those. Yes. And our job as parents is to help you to deal with those things. So you as a boy, they might have these strong urges, Absolutely. especially if they're they watching will. these things or mm-hmm. friends are talking in this way what is their response going to be? Because that is what they are going to be responsible for. And that's what we have to help them to say, yeah, you're going to have this urge and it's going to be hard. Yeah. It's going to be hard to deal with it. It's going to be hard not to want to just push on through and, you know, um, gratify yourself. Well, again, in Proverbs, that's, that's what the father does. He comes to the street where the prostitute is and he shows all of the urges 
she's going to have lovely, um, you know, Egyptian linen. It's, in other words, it's going to be nice. The smell is delicious. Uh, I mean, it's very interesting in that passage because he, uh, she even says, "I've sacrificed. Mm. I've, I, I've, you know, you know, I've, I've been religious. It's okay. You know, we're all right." Mm. And uh, she, she shows all of the pleasures, but as he says, it ends in death. Mm. Uh, it will ruin. It will ruin you. Now that's just sort of sex with a prostitute, you know, yeah. With, with, yeah. With, in a way that you sh- you shouldn't be, you know, you should be faithful to your wife. We're still coming back to pornography, which is which is treating women as objects of of desire only, mm. yeah. and that's so. So there's something bigger we want to teach our men that these are women that, as we said last time, that we want to protect. Mm-hmm. And we want to love and be kind to, and yeah, yeah, and and you know, he, goes, he talks about the sort of the pressure of the peer group as well, and that will come, you know, he says that comes in at sort of fourteen, um, and again, it could it could come in earlier, you know, but definitely by then, you 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 have got more competition, so that's why you you know you have to have those good uh, open lines of communication um, because you're gonna be you're gonna you're gonna have lots of competition, and 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 again, like you know. Who who are your who who are your kids' friends? <laughs> um, that that's that's a good question to ask. And what are, what are kind of influences are you are your kids um, getting from their from their friends? So, you know, I think I think definitely uh, keeping the lines of communication open with with your kids is is one of the most important things that we can do as parents, um, and 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 helping them to know that uh, that that girls aren't just objects. They are they are they are people. They are um, create you know they are fellow workers with you they're sisters if they, if you're a christian young man that is not you know that's not a, a piece of meat it's a it's a it's a sister treat yeah. her like a sister in christ yeah um and uh and that, that can that can totally transform uh, the way you know we we think about uh, girls but saying that you know teenagers they they uh they they need uh again i i just think when i was a, when i was a teenager you know i was thick as anything and and like the urges, you know, the the desires, they just they they do rage, and you need you need um, multiple different influences. So you, um, your other Christian um, parents, youth workers, uh, you know, people at church, uh, all sort of inputting into your kids. It's all it, you know, yeah. it, it's it's definitely all all needed. Mm. Um, and and wanting to show uh, show our our men how how uh, to treat women, and yeah. and that's Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, and look how kind he was to women. Yeah, and even kind to you know women that were caught in adultery and stuff. He wasn't he wasn't having those yeah. Pharisees, yeah. Um, you know, just condemn her. He was kind and loving and straight, and yeah. you know he spoke he spoke um, truth into yeah. lives. Yeah, I mean any any woman Jesus interacted with, it, it she ended up um, flourishing more. Yeah. You know? So, yeah. so for our boys, how are you going to end up? How are you going to ha- have that goal? What, what an amazing goal! Yeah, you know, uh, every woman that you interact with or you know have a relationship with, yeah, uh, and I'm not talking about physical, physical or, or you know, like boyfriend just girlfriend. Any just think any any girl. Are, are, is your goal to help that woman to flourish? Yes. Yeah. Whereas pornography is uh, that it's woman is, taking, is is a piece yeah, of meat, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. 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 And, and it's just, all about you, and, yeah. and it's it's a horror. Yeah. Okay, so that conversation. Just, just quickly though. Um, so let's say uh, you know your, your your boy comes home and and uh, uh, he's got something on his on his phone or whatever it is, you know, computer. And you know, what what are you going to do? Or you 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 find it on there, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that's uh, that's where that's the opportunity like, to say yeah. I need to talk to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy. And and. Maybe not immediately, but you, it's yeah, again think, choosing your time. Isn't yeah, it? that's right. They talk about um, they they go on to talk about sort of this website, which is um, you know where 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 girls have given uh, um, testimonies of, of abuse and stuff like that. Yeah, um, and you know that you need to be careful there. But but in in that kind of situation, I just think you just need to put your cards on the table and say, look, mate, you know, um, um, if you have been there, <laughs> that's that's a, a helpful thing, you know. I don't think I don't think you have to have struggled with pornography yourself to to speak into that, but um, but just say, look, um, let's talk. Let's let's we need to open this box. Yeah, yeah. 
uh, it's, it's not going to do any good to just sh- uh, sweep it under the carpet, mm. you know, um, and, and whatever, um, however it goes, it's going to be hard. Don't expect it to, to be instantly better, you know, mm. uh, but sometimes you have to have those, you know, those tough conversations. Mm. Um, to because get, if you're looking at porn, a good place, yeah. and porn is basically the woman is there for my pleasure or just a sort of lump of meat, then it's going to be hard, isn't it, to look at the girls in your life and the women yeah. in your life yeah. as nothing, as nothing but that. Yeah, I mean, think about and think about boys. They, you know, they 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 play the game, don't they? Rate rating out of ten, right? Yeah. You know, we used to. Do that. I know, I know, we used to do that when mm. when we were when we were younger, and it's just, it's a what it's is not Chris? a good thing. Not going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Gave it up a long time ago, but I married her, so you know. But yeah. but you know, up like the scale. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> But you know um, that. But that's a, that's sort of small scale. But that that's sort of that's that's it, that's all part of the culture. You know, that's objectifying women. And and actually, the culture we live in has a lot to answer for. Actually, because mm. it it's so many. It's the the messages are so so mixed. Yeah. So mixed. Yeah. You know. So um, you know, like I, I went back to the the example of, of of an old singer, Britney Spears, years ago. Yeah. The the, the video and song that made her yeah um, famous was you know in the video she was dressed up as a schoolgirl. Yeah. You know, and and what is that teaching? And hit me one more time. Yeah. Well, you so, know, I, I don't know what that. <laughs> I, I guess it's a sexual reference. Well, yeah. I yeah. mean, it's you know whatever it is, it's not good, is it? No. <laughs> you know. No. So so it's. Um, what what kind of messages are, are we are we sending our boys in this culture? Mm. We, it's they're always mixed, they're always and and it it's totally inconsistent. And you know um, that's why we need to return to a biblical worldview on you know on how to view men and women and mm. uh, how to treat women as as men. Yeah, um, I think the. I mean, I think the heart really. Not how hard to treat thing. women as men, but how yeah. men should treat women as. <laughs> That's women. right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah I know what you meant. Yeah. 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 You know, I'm sitting here as a as a mum of three boys, and I'm really thankful that I am married and I have a husband yeah. who can deal with these things. Mm. Like, if my, you know, if yeah. this situation were to come up in our house, I would definitely defer to Dean and say, "You need to speak to mm. this child about this." Now. But I would I would also come and maybe get you involved somewhere along the line yeah. to sort of get a woman's perspective and uh, and get a woman's opinion on it or you know yeah, yeah. I think which is which is great and which is right but you know let's face facts there are lots of single parents mm, yeah. in our churches mm, and yeah. how do we help the single moms yeah. deal with this with yeah. their boys how would you say well I I think you know unfortunately they are going to have to bear a lot of the burden mm. uh, because that's the position that they're in but that's where i think also making church family important yeah. mm. having good relationships with men in the church with youth leaders where yes i i would hope that if i was in that situation i could have a conversation with my child but i would also want a man from the church to come alongside, I would have to take it to them and say, look, this is the situation. I need someone to have a conversation yeah. with my boy. Yeah. And men of the church need to be willing to step up and yeah, to yeah. do that and to yeah. have those hard conversations mm-hmm. because not all of our fa- our families, you know, our two parent families no. and, and we need to address that. And the men in the church need to be willing to fill in that mm, position yeah. and to take that on. And, and mm. also to say, it's not a bad thing to, to say as well to, to um, families where there is a dad in the house. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, a, 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 a youth worker or, or a, a bloke in the church that your lad has a good relationship with. Sometimes that can be. Oh, definitely. Uh, yeah. Yeah, a, oh, a be- you know, a better way I mean, in. The, you know, the like parenting is is the main thing. Yeah, but actually, you know, uh, the equivalent of uncles and uh, yeah. aunts and uh, people in the church and youth leaders yeah. are really helpful. Yeah, and you know, o- often a teenager uh, will open up more about yeah. pornography. Yeah, yeah, because uh, it's just such an it, it can be quite embarrassing. Yeah. You know, yeah. to, to talk to dad and mum about yeah. it. Yeah. Um, and that's brilliant, isn't it? That's yeah. brilliant. So I, I think church is great on yeah. this because yeah. because we are modelling um, uh, men and women and love, and uh, we're, we're unafraid to talk about making love. Uh, we, we, you know, we're unafraid to open up books in the Bible like uh, Song of Songs, which 
which uh, you know talks about the romantic uh, re- you know they're, they're beautiful yeah. pictures of sex mm-hmm. yeah. and we're unashamed to talk about sex yeah. actually yeah. Um, in a, in a way that's p- positive mm-hmm. um, so I think I do think church is actually actually a really great environment isn't it yeah. Yeah. even for the young ones just to see oh look there's lots of mums and dads and lots yeah. of yeah yeah and and that's the the that, that this this whole article is brilliant, but that's the tragedy of this of the world we live in is that you know m- you know many many families have removed that layer of uh, of stability from from their lives from 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 society you know um, churches and and church and God is out of the picture for for many many families so you know I would say uh, if to anyone who's listening to this podcast who might not be going to church or involved in the church it's a it's, it's such a brilliant, you know, um, community to have around you yeah. to help yeah. us raise boys yeah. that are good for the world, and that's yeah. what this that's what this article is all about. Yeah, you know, and and, and, and in church we talk about emotions, we yeah. talk yeah. about uh, pornography, we we talk yeah. about the difficulties we had, yeah. and we do it in a safeguarding yeah. way because Chris, you're the safeguarding <laughs> officer, uh, and so we we put we 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 know there's difficulties. Mm. That men uh, and uh, uh, you know can can have and women can have and and we put safeguarding in because we do believe we're in a sinful yeah, world yeah. Yeah. that that twists and distorts sex yeah. uh, and that we're drawn to that twisting and and distorting mm. so that's why safeguarding is a very uh, important thing and that's why we have it in the church. Mm. Yeah. You want to say something about? It? No, I mean I think I think that is key, and I do think with all of these issues. We as parents, we're going to mess up. We're going to get it wrong sometimes. And we may not um, always have these, like we talk about, yes, you should have this conversation, but sometimes those go wrong. Mm -hmm. Sometimes our kids don't want to listen to us. Um, And as Christian parents, we need to pray about that. We need to give it to God. But that's what being part of a church where they're having all of these people around them, all these men around them who ha- are of the same mind, who have the same beliefs, the same values, are, and they become the influencers mm. instead of the kids on the playground. Yeah. Or, you know, yeah. we want to fill their lives with, with yeah. people who have these strong moral beliefs, but not just moral beliefs, but they understand where the all battles. of the, yeah. the goodness, God gives good things and yeah. sex is a good thing. Yeah. And, you know, why is it a good thing? We want that, you know, going into their heads from a very early age and that actually sex and pornography are two totally different things. One is good and one is evil. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's right. I think that's right. I I don't think we should be calling pornography sex. I, 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 well, I think let's call it pornography. You know, it's a different, it's a whole different game. Uh, I think we'll, we'll finish there, but I I do think that is right. I I think that kids, as far as I can understand uh, um, that, that we always need not our peers. The pe- we all talk about peers. Kids need their peers. I, I don't think so. I think they always need the one, the sort of age group above them, mm-hmm. to be inspired by them. Yeah, and that's where church is really good, isn't it? Because if they see, so if if you've got a, a you know a ten year old boy and he sees the fourteen year old boy. Yeah. Uh, going on with Christ, that's his. That's who he's aspiring to. And then the fourteen sees the eighteen-year-old, and the eighteen sees the twenty-five-year-old. Mm. They're in, aspiring to the next level yeah. because they always want to be older than they are yeah. Yeah. Uh, until you're a certain age, and you always want to be younger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. yeah okay. That, Any last bits times. of wisdom on pornography? No, just. Yeah, it's Keep, everywhere, isn't yeah, it? it? You're is, going to yeah. have to deal with it. Yeah. We'll have to deal with it. It's everywhere. Uh, and I think uh, we've. I think, but this is worth saying: if you are a male, the internet knows who you, who you are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They know more about us than uh, than people have known about us. You know, probably we know about ourselves. They know about our habits, and there are men all night yeah. working on trying to attract you. And they will use anything get to you get to you click the next to click button. the next thing, and porn and uh, attractive women perhaps are other w- other way in. So I know as a sixty three year old man, you know I know my day. I know there's going to be where I'm not even thinking of sex, and and there will be something on the internet to try to or so, you know something to try to to mm. get my attention. 
And so watch that. Know that. Know your world. So, for instance, mm. uh, I, I haven't been on the bus for over a year now because of the whole COVID thing. But when I played chess on the bus, uh, they know, because I was playing an online chess game, you know, people are, who are yeah. around the world, they know about me. They know my age, obviously. Yeah. They know I play chess, so I must be a sad, lonely uh, bloke who's 63, sad, lonely bloke, plays chess. <laughs> He plays it at like uh, 4.30 on the bus. I would come round on the bus from Kingston into Surbiton and always there was a bing, Tanya is waiting for you. Mm. You know, uh, whoever she is. And she doesn't exist, of course. The very scary thing is, and this is from a safeguarding point of view, is that they may say Tanya is waiting for you, but it could be a child. Exactly. That is being forced to be on a site. Yeah. And then you're headed down even a road that leads to nothing yep. but um, disaster. disaster. Yeah. Your life, by one click of a button, yeah. your life could be ruined. Absolutely. Am and I it's very, that? very dangerous. Yeah. And, and how utterly uh, annoying. And, yeah. and I don't want that. I'm just playing chess. I mean, I've got rid of that now. Mm. Um, because I'm just so annoyed that someone's using an algorithm to try to attract yeah. me down the line that you 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 you, you, yeah. you might say. So our kids are there. It's there. We're in a wicked world, and we've got to teach them how to follow God in this wicked world. Yeah, and that's where they need to pray. They'll fail. We're we're, we're happy. So I'm going on there, yeah. but we're 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 happy to allow them to tell us they failed. Yes. Yeah. So we don't want kids that think they have to be so perfect they can't say, "Mum, Dad, look, I've I've got, I've got this stuff. I I can't get rid of it." You know, yeah. we want people to be open enough to be able to say, "Okay, that's all right. Yeah. We all fail. Let's let's deal with this." As we said earlier, you know, there's there's so much more we could say, you know, but but again, that goes it goes back to we we live uh, we're living by a code. We're living by. Um, by the word of God, which it has a category for that. You know, we, we have... Um, for forgiveness. Yeah, and starting exactly. Again. Yeah, yeah. 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 We, we, you know, where, do, where, where does the non-Christian go? You know, it's just, it's just an emotion or, you know, it's just something they have to like, try harder to do. And you have to do it on do, your but, own. As an, yeah, you know, somebody but, who believes in God, we have a God who will walk yeah. beside us, who will take us, who will help us through these. Yeah, and um, we have and a community of believers. We have who the will, Holy Spirit who, exactly. is, you know, he has the he by, by the by the power of the Holy Spirit Jesus rose from the dead you know yeah. he he uh, yeah. he's the one who brings life to to dead bodies you know and to dead yeah. lives um, yeah. wow you know why wouldn't we and teaching, take advantage of that boys to be boys yeah. and say to the uh, to be able to say don't show me that yeah. you don't yes. treat women like that yeah. that's not what God says yeah. exactly. and that they can be pleased yeah. in talking like that yeah I think that's the thing like with pornography we need to see it. For what it really is, it is a dragon that that is not a pretty dragon. It's How a dragon. It's, it's a disgusting dragon yeah. who wants to rip you apart. And and if you saw it for what it really is, yeah. you would be you know disgusted. you would want to run from it yeah, yeah, every yeah. day. Yeah. And so see it for what it really is, yeah. and 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 battle against it. And don't don't ever um, you know it it will it will come to you as an angel of light. It will come to you mm. as as the most attractive thing that you can think of. Yeah. But it's it's the exact opposite. And so... Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. We're going to close there. Yeah. Um, uh, come back uh, next time um, where we'll be dealing with another issue. I'm not sure what it is uh, on uh, how to raise boys. But thank you very much. Thanks. I hope you enjoyed that episode of Raising Boys. And uh, as... As ever, if you go onto our website, cornerstonechurchkingston.org, then there's plenty more resources that you can download. Um, And uh, if you go to our YouTube channel, our social media channels, you can subscribe and follow those as well so you can keep up to date with all the content that we're, we're producing.